let's take a look at question 12. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more involved. Uh, let's look at what we have. So we have a circuit where uh, we have two voltage sources. We have an inductor. This one here, this one here. We have an inductor. And we have one, two, three resistors. Uh, it's kind of a lot going on here, so it's kind of look at what's happening. Then we also have a uh, switch. Uh, so let's look at what this question is actually asking us. This question says, determine the inductor current, so that current, I of L, after 6.2 con time constants. So time is equal to 6.2 tau. After they have elapsed, after the switch operates. Okay. So, and then they give us uh, V1 values, V2 values, and this R value, where this R value is uh, 2, and V1 is 5, V2 is 10. Okay. Uh, so, if we're looking at this, we see that this time, 6.2 tau is greater than 5 tau. So, therefore, our time runs to infinity. Okay, so we're, we're at infinity. So we are at steady state. So see how everything acts in steady state. So this up here is our time at zero. This over here will be our steady state value uh, circuit. Plus minus Minus two, B one, five, ten. Uh, this is five, five, two, and this is where this inductor was. And we had that switch uh, closed right here. Okay, um, so we have two of these circuits, um, and it wants us, it mentions the word time constant. So they kind of point you towards uh, uh, I L of T is uh, I of L infinity plus I of L initial minus I of L at infinity E to the minus T over tau. But uh, something to note, uh, if they want to know at the six time constants, uh, they just want to know what I of L at infinity will be. So this is what we're looking for. Um, so if we know that uh, we're looking for this I of L at infinity, then all we need to do is to determine this value. Okay, because this up here... Uh, we could go solve for the rest of this, but what ends up happening is is that uh, this term ends up, you know, getting to the point where like it effectively just cancels this out. Okay, like it, this term gets so small it cancels that out, or whatever that value is. Uh, so we can say, uh, yeah, I vel at six point two tau is uh, I of L at infinity. So let's just find that current. Uh, so let's look here at this circuit. Um, it's a little weird because we have two voltage sources uh, and we have three resistances. Geez. Uh, it's kind of a lot going on here. But here's something that you need to note. Uh, any previous methods that we've used in the past can come up uh, in current problems. So if I have two different voltage sources and I've got all these resistances and I see that there's a bunch of common points along the top and along the bottom, we're going to pull out our old friend nodal analysis. I'll call this point V of A because why not? Okay. Because if I can determine that V of A value and I set this ground at zero volts, 
well, I can find the difference between V of A and, say, that point right there. And when I do that, uh, I can determine uh, what this current will be. Because the current through this resistor will be the same current that was through that uh, inductor. They're on the same wire. So let's go ahead and write that out. Uh, so this is for V of A. So do V of A minus 10 over 5 plus V of A minus 5 over 5 plus V of A minus 0 over 2. And this will be equal to 0. Okay? So all we're doing is just a uh, quick little nodal analysis. If we uh, go and simplify this now, or multiply this entire thing by uh, 10, because it's the least common, or it's, it's a common factor that we have here, uh, we'll get 2 V of A minus 10 plus 2 V of A minus 5 plus 5 V of A is equal to 0. So we'll combine some of these down. So let's be 2V of A minus 20 plus 2V of A minus 10 plus 5V of A. That'll be equal to 0. Let's uh, combine in like terms. So 5, 2, and 2. This will give us 9V of A. Then we have negative 20, negative 10. Some constant values. Move that over to the right-hand side. We get 30. So therefore, V of A is going to be equal to 30 over 9 volts. Uh, and let's see what that gives us. And that gives us about 3.33 uh, volts. All right. So now, the voltage, uh, current through resistor 2, so that resistor right here, uh, sorry, that resistance will be equal to V of A minus 0 over 2. So 3.33 divided by 2. that by 2. And that'll give us 1.67 amps for IR2. And we said earlier that we know that IR2 will be equal to I of L at 6.2 tau. So our I of L at 6.2 tau is going to be 1.67 amps. Which looks like the same value.